when you see kikuyus coming together they are going there to do a mistake they or no oh watakuja hapa moja kufanya tu mistake that's all mount kenya is one of the most spoiled area but our watu waliko kwa akili sisi ndio werevu sisi ndio matajiri sisi ndio tunajua kila kitu but ukisikia mahali kuna uzo wa pombe mbaya changana na vitu mbaya wapi ni huko ukisikia mtu mwanasiasa anataka kudanganya dutu alitoka subuhi kwote akaona wajinga wako hapo na akawadanganya na akasucceed you see 24 years of moyo ya kirule ni mtu wa mount kenya tu alikuwa akisikia akisema kano ita rule for 100 years kina kamodo the likes of matiba the likes of koigi wa mwere na wale watu wa mount kenya hiyo time walikuwa eh, wa, wanapigania liberation in 1992 wakisema mount party si mna nini hawakupigwa na moyo hakuna mkali alienda huko kuwapiga walikuwa wanapigwa na wakiku wenza hapo you know wakati eh, sijui nitakuelezea aje but let me just be brief but siongei vibaya kuhusu hiyo kabila ya mount ya 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 wakikuyu but kikuyus need to know their history very well when kikuyus come together they always come together to make a bad decision a decision that bites themselves in fact a dangerous decision that always fights themselves for example during that maumau time they came together but they died 2.5 million died what did they achieve zile mashamba walikuwa wanapigania walipata hawakupata after independence how many people benefited from that around 5 to 6 people Kenyatta benefited. Kenyatta went there. That's why last time I told you Kenyatta went there is Andrew Ronea. But by the time he was there, he was a trillionaire. What about the ordinary Kikuyu? From there he went wakaenda 1990 1978. When Kenyatta died, kulikuwa na wazee sita saba wa Kikuyu. They sat down wakijiuliza who should be the next president. In fact among them, kwa hiyo mkutano wakashindwa. Nani anafaa kuwa president? Wakasema tuite Moi. Those are Kikuyu. That's the next meeting. They sat down wako jiulizana sisi nani anafaa kuwa president wakashindwa kabisa imagine wakaona acha acha tupee moi juu moi nikamshenzi akana akili nikatoto akana pesa how you know hebu nikuulize if we are told kikuyu are very bright ni mkiku ni mwanaume mgani akia Mungu tunaweza keti hapa tukupatie bunduki na risasi na pesa alafu tuseme tutakujia Si afadhali kupea bibi yangu lale na yeye alafu ndamkujia. Huyo anaweza mkujia na uniachie bunduki na pesa. But now this this is exactly what they did. Walipea Moi pesa na bunduki. Moi aliwakalia for 24 years. Na by the time Moi was moving out, hakukuwa na kiwanda yao moja akakaa ilikuwa inafanya kazi. Kawa yao, biashara zao walikuwa down. Their glory came back. The first glory of them during Kenyatta time came because of Odinga. The father of Raila Odinga lakini after that wakamuita kehe wakasema hana adabu in 2002 the glory of kikuyu lirudi in 2002 wakati kibaki alikuwa president nani walirudishia hiyo glory oginga raila but after that wakasema raila ni kehe you see yani kuulize mbona mungiki walikuwa wanalazimisha walikuwa na circumcise watu by force you know ni part of their traditions na kusema tunafaa kurudi kwa traditions za kitambo you know kama sasa hizi ukisema turudi kwa traditions za kitambo. Uwezi tuambie turudi kwa traditions za kitambo na unaendesha gari? Siwende ukatembea na miguu. Uwezi tuambie turudi kwa traditions za kitambo na umevaa nguo. Siwende ukavae ngozi. Uwezi tuambie twende turudi kwa traditions za kitambo na unaishi kwa nyumba. Siwende ukakae kwa cave. Siwende ukajenga kwa nyumba kama aduishi pale. You know there is a lot of stupidity and this is what we are feeding our young people today. Mtu anaanza kusema tunataka kurudi. Mimi nataka kuitanishwa na babu yangu. In fact ni kuambie today This also another lie yenye unaambi wangu ati wewe sasa wewe umeitanishwa na shushu yako you know lazima itanishwa na shushu yako that's so stupid shushu yako aliishi hiyo time yake in fact today you are so superior than the, the your father who died you are very superior because when you uko when you look at the hierarchy of human being eh, angels hapo ni ndogo malaika today utiulizo utaambiwa malaika wako na nguvu kuliko mtu hapana Angels human beings are powerful than angels because angels kazi yao ni kuambiwa fanye hivi wanafanya. Wanaanga privilege lakini wewe you can decide this and this. Wakati kuna mapepo ama majini hapa. It's a human beings mwenye anakuja kuzitoa ni kweli. Mbona si zingine za kuja kuzitoa? So human beings are so wakati umezaliwa wewe saa hizi you are more powerful than your ancestors. Katika hierarchy when you when you commander 
your ancestors will do what you tell them but you you should not do what they are telling you but now when you call yourself and you want to equilibrate yourself with the ancestors so unajitoa spirit yako unaiweka in the same of ancestors unaanza kuwa mjinga unaanza kurudi na nyuma eh unaanza kufanya zile vitu walikuwa wanafanya wewe sasa hizi ukiambiwa kuambiwa uvae manguo akakuwa mchawi utakuwa and this is what they used to do wewe sasa hizi ukiambiwa so okay so ukisema turudi kwenye tulitoka wewe uko ready kuzaa watoto 15 jua walikuwa wanazaa kuzaa tu uko ready kuolewa mkiwa watu 10 and that's who, and why are we seeing wanaume vijana wanaenda kutahiriwa alafu wanaanza kufundisha hizo traditions za ujinga then ule mzee anafundisha huyu kijana akimwambia sasa umetahiri unafaa kuwa hivi ye mwenyewe anaenda anafundisha msiano wake anamwambia ukiolewa usikaliwe na mwanaume ukiona iwezi rudi nyumbani you see alafu anaenda anaita brother yake anamwambia ukiolewa au fai kuongelesha na mwanamke unafaa ku command mwanamke unafaa kufanya nini and that's why today they i don't know why they don't see 60% of women there are single mothers even with all these tradition and nonsense what does that show that they are men they are women wamechoka na wanaume wao wenyewe is it and then we are still saying you bro, you know mount kenya imekosa leadership poor let me tell you this problem there finally today you might be a, i i know my friend you know i do a lot of research and i have like 10 friends niko na jamaa mokisi yako na watoto sita huko mount kenya yako na baby mama wengi sana yani amezaa watoto huko mount kenya niko na jamaa mwingine mjaluo yani these are friends that i know yako na watoto watatu niko na jamaa mwingine mkamba huyo kuna watoto wengi zaidi so niko na jamaa mwingine mkale na mjua kuna watoto wawili so watoto kama you come from mount kenya nikikuzalisha mtoto ama kuzalishwa na mjaluo huyo mtoto unampeanga jina ya kuka yako si ndio so is that a, is that a kikuyu that's not a kikuyu that's a luo if you have a kid if you have a kikuyu and you have a kid with a luo what do you give birth to you give birth to a luo so that's a luo who is speaking ki kikuyu so now when you are you, you take this canvas and this luo because they are speaking kikuyu and wanapeleka palo enda kuachinjia buzi magongona hizo na kuwakulisha muuma in the name of kikuyu they won't always kizana these are people from different spirits and that's why wanananga wa kikuyu awapata nangi they pretend they only come together to make bad decision look in 2022 in 2017 walipiga kura mpaka wakafufusha watu wamekuwa wamekufa wakafuka wakapiga kura wenye walikuwa ICU wakafufuka waka, wakakuwa wakapona wakapiga kura na wakarudi how can you tell you know 99% turn out is not a joke 2017 voting uru kinyata and he became president through the death of Musado na wengine you see Musado is ended today and they had to celebrate but okay let's just keep that at bay because that is not what we brought us here but now i want to tell you they come together so wali tokea wote and bef- after 2018 to 2022 they were showing us that they came together and what they did was a mistake wali maliza 4 years wakiandamana na Ruto wakitusi uhuru kinyata why were they doing that na waliamuka 90% so if it is ujua uhuru kinyata and is was son mwenye anakosea the wisdom is call this guy mukalishe chini mueleze what you guys need murekebisheni lakini waliona uru kinyata wao si mtu sasa wakaona ruto ndio mtu again they came together in 2022 wakasema hata tutaki chama tuta support ruto free today ndio wanasema tuko kila tena toka ruto ruto today wao ndio wanalia zaidi you see so they always when you see kikuyu coming together they are going there to do a mistake they all no watakuja pamoja kufanya tu mistake that's all in rift valley something the, the same in 2007 kibaki kibaki alikuwa ameshindwa na raila pnu eh, kibaki alikuwa pnu pnu ilikuwa pale nyeri tu hapa kimuranga wewe niambia coast no this time Kisumu yote, Nyanza yote, Western yote, Rift Valley yote ilikuwa ODM. And then Kibaki had won. Eastern walikuwa ni wakamba walikuwa wiper. So Kibaki alikuwa na tukura kidogo lakini akaiba. So Kibaki knew that. Walikuja tena, wakaambia Kibaki lazima uchukue, u president usiachilie iende. What happened? Kikuyu had to die. Kikuyu had to be displaced. Kikuyu had to be raped. 
Kikuyu's had to be burnt in church. Who burnt them? Why? Why, why? why did that happen to them? It is because of a mistake of their kingpin, who is Kibaki. But to Kiwaliza wata kwambia si Kibaki, Kibaki was a good person, Israela. So I, I always question my friends who are Kikuyu and my Kikuyu people, where? Ni kurogwa ama ni akili ya tu kupewa za mwisho za kufikiria zaidi ya pale. Because we suffered this. He suffered this yote litokana na Kibaki. Then from there, there is a person mwenye alasumeka nanga alieka vijana kwa malori. Wenda wakapigani wa kikuyu wenza huko, huko, huko lift valley wacha kuliwa. So those were the, the uh, those were the mungekes now. When they came back, they were killed. Ha, vijana after kwenda kureski watu wa. Wakikuja hapa si waliuliwa na serikali. Ilisema itaki mungeke na maliza mungeke. So, uh, when Kikuyus come together most of the time, when, most of the time, when they come together, they come together to make a, man, uh, a bad mis uh, uh, to make a mistake that will chew them in future. And I've given you evidences from 1963 during Mau Mau time, they made a decision that did not help them. You see, uh, in 1978, they made a decision to say Moi can be a better president, <laughs> and they suffered for 24 years. From there. In 2017, what happened? In 2007, what happened? Waliamua lazima kibaki ya president. You see? And they suffered. Kapsa. Uh, they, uh, those are times in 2002. Si wamekua pamoja. What is Ruto doing to them? What is doing Ruto to their business? What is doing Ruto doing to their cash crop? That gives them money. So, wakati umesikia wako pale hivi. Wako pale hivi. Because those are not kikuyus. These are people from different tribes speaking a language called kikuyu. Melewa. Stories are 254. And you're watching Stories are 254. Check the wiki.